And good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carlin. A South Boston man serving a life sentence for nonviolent drug charges is getting a second chance from Governor Ralph Northam just weeks before he leaves office. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder is working for you in our newsroom to break down Jesse Dunaway's case. Jesse Dunaway has been in prison for well over a decade for nonviolent drug crimes he committed in South Boston in the early 2000s. He's currently the only Virginian serving time under the state's kingpin statute, and now his life sentence will be reduced to 20 years. He did something wrong and he served a period of time in prison, and now he doesn't need to be there anymore. Dunaway was first convicted in 2003 after selling marijuana and cocaine, and instead of being tried for distribution in court, prosecutors tried him under the state's kingpin statute. He's the only person in the Commonwealth convicted for this crime. For him to get a mandatory life sentence for something that the guidelines called so much lower just seems really unjust. Over the years, thousands signed petitions asking for Governor Ralph Northam to pardon Dunaway. And on December 17th, that hope became a reality. Jesse Dunaway has been about as well behaved as you could ever be in prison. The young man got his GED. He has been highly successful. He has not been written up in prison. And he works about 55 hours a week. Advocates say Dunaway wants to return to his home and start life on a new path. He hopes to help people in similar situations to his own. Jesse Dunaway is looking forward to, to going home. He's going to live with his aunt and uncle. He's going to work. He's going to be a productive member of society. Remember, he's never been violent. No violence, no uh, violent convictions in his past. And he has four children, and he'll take care of those children. Because Dunaway is getting a conditional pardon, he'll serve the remainder of his sentence and is set to be released in 2025. His charges will stay on his record. In the newsroom tonight, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.